not as silly today. <laughs> um, before I begin the game, um, I want to expand a little bit on the thing that I mentioned last time. So, when Popola and Devola kind of zapped their little project gestalt thing into Vice's little brain, um, I went into it a little bit. I just said the basics of it, but I never actually said what it said. Um, so I mentioned that it went into who Popola and Devola really are, and what Vice, um, Vice and Noir do. It has a picture of, um, what was his name? Absrum? I think his name was? The, the, gold, the Crimson Book. That's, I guess that's what I'll call him for now since I can't remember. And what Yona plays, Yona and Nier plays in all of this. So, um, I'll show the reports on screen and I'll, um, I'll make a slide through them while they, I'm explaining this. But, um, basically, um, Popola and Devola are not humans, but instead androids. They're known as, um, observer androids or surveillance androids rather. And their mission is to oversee the results of Project Gestalt, which the entire thing is to be a backup plan in case of the human race's extinction. So Gestalts are the sole embodiment of uh, true humans, whereas replicants were made from Project Gestalt to... Move the gestalts into the replicants and sort of have the souls of the gestalts put into a robotic esque synthetic body. Um, where Grimoire Noir and Grimoire Vice come in, Grimoire Vice is, um, again, supposed to, as uh, Noir said, is supposed to work alongside. Uh, alongside Noir, so Vice and Noir are supposed to work together to bring the human race back. And so Vice's role is to have the sealed verses, which is what um, Popola and Devola put into Vice, whereas Noir is supposed to be um, preparing the Gestalts um, for um, moving into their uh, their shells, I guess. And where Yona plays a role into this, Yona and Nier play a role into this, is that um, Yona and Nier were basically patient zero of Project Gestalt. They were the origin test subject of Project Gestalt. And so basically what made Project Gestalt fail is the fact that the um, both the Gestalt and the replicants would do a relapse where they'd show a lack of sentience. And so the gestalts would end up attacking people, which is why we see shades attacking everyone. Those are relapsed shades. And meanwhile, the ones that we're feeling sympathetic for are ones that are not affected by the relapse. So that's why some shades are super bad and some of them are super good. Uh, the same kind of goes for replicants. Um, replicants don't have the ability that gestalts do, so they don't feel, I guess, the same thing that gestalts do. Like, they don't, they aren't able to reproduce, um, they're not quite able to feel the same emotions that gestalts are, or humans are able to. So that's what Devil and Popola's mission was, was to make it so that humans can be a thing again through synthetic thing. That's the gist of it, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's quite a mess. <laughs> My question is, is that if Shadow Lord is near, what happen like what happens to the shells? If, like, all of the Gestalts die, like, what happens to all the replicants? Do they, like, eventually die because they don't have a soul anymore? And, like, it, it's kind of like a, if you're, if you don't have, like, a soul, what it really are you type of thing. And they, like, slowly wither away? Or, like, what's, what happens? <laughs> 
So like, what happens once Shadow Lord dies? Uh, it didn't. The game didn't really explain that too much. I'm hoping Ending E will get into it, but um, that's basically the questions I have. I have a lot of questions, uh, especially about Ending B. I don't know what Ending B is all about. Why we went back to year 2036, but yeah, uh, that's my thoughts as of going into Ending E. Okay. Let's get into the game now. <laughs> uh, why is my thing windowed? My game is windowed. I do not want that. Give me a second. My thing's windowed. I don't know why. It's windowed. It makes it also makes me wonder what Emil and um Halua are supposed to be. Like are they both supposed to be like um weapons just in case like the entire project fails so they have like a thing to like nuke everything? Because that's what that's what Emil did. He nuked everything. <laughs> oh yeah, and um Oops, got to change the difficulty. Um, but yeah, um, I started a new save file. Um, I had it on hard. I don't know why I changed back to normal. Um, I changed it. I changed the name to brother since the the guy told me to change the name. So it's uh, it's brother now. And I already did the, th uh, the pleasure of skipping over to where the hook boss fight would be. So right now I'm having to go to the area. Um, literally nothing changed about the, the first story. I thought I saw a couple changes, but yeah, literally nothing changed. Nothing changed at all. So, uh, if you're seeing this in part 12, hi. If you're seeing this in part 13, Hi. I don't know which one it's going to be. Uh, Editor Yobi will be the uh, one to say. <laughs> but um, I'm probably going to cut out um, everything from the beginning of the game. Because nothing really changed at all. Hard mode is hard! I have to say that. Hard mode is very hard. It's very difficult. Things are like a damage sponge, and also it's really loud for some reason. Why is it so loud? But yeah, basically things turn into a damage sponge on hard mode, and it's quite unorthodox. So expect me to not do as well. I actually took a little bit of time to defeat uh, Hansel and Gretel. You see how much, how little damage I do? That's hard mode. <laughs> I do so little damage now. But hopefully when given uh, better weapons, uh, I can do a little better. Yeah, 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 vice. But yeah, now I'm struggling to kill the funny children shades. <laughs> it gets hard mode. Do I have word edit? It's not that it's. I don't think it's gonna matter, but. Yeah, okay. I already have stuff on. But yeah, look how long it takes for me to kill one thing. It takes so long now. Look at that. It takes so long now. I can't one hit these dudes anymore. I can't, like, defeat a mob anymore, and I have to, like, actively start running away. Uh, but once it does- but if it does get too hard, um, I will turn down the difficulty, since, um, it does thankfully give me that option. Hopefully I won't need to. Hopefully I'm gamer enough. <laughs> Hopefully I'm gamer enough. To uh, be able to do hard mode. Shades. Hi, Karne. I forgot. You doing here? We thought you could use a hand. <sighs> yeah. 
Yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order. Hmm? Yeah. That's God. what's happening. God, I've always hated the magic resistance shades. I can't do anything. So, yeah, expect me to use a lot more, um... Uh, a lot more medicinal herbs. Uh-oh. Then we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed burst while we're at it. Hey, guys. I hate that I'm effectively useless against you guys now. Like, look at this. They're so strong now. But yeah, the reason why I still have so much herbs regardless is just because I've just been running away from every enemy. <laughs> oh my god, they're so strong. Like, they don't recoil from attacks anymore. I think that's what the thing is. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. God, I have so little health. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Don't let me write anything. All right, Hook. Come here. I'm gonna skip you. I do zero damage. What the fuck, man? Look at this! I do nothing! As if there were any other choice. I do no damage! Uh, <laughs> did you just say what I <laughs> I forgot that used the kind of swearing at this portion of the game yet. It does work. But kind of hard when I'm just as... Dude's like a damage sponge right now. I just saw her disappear. <laughs> oh my god. You take so many hits. Ah! Yeah, I might go back to normal. <laughs> this is a lot. This is just- I- I see now why I went back to normal. Okay. Look how little damage I do. Oh my god. If I die to this fight, I swear. I already have to restart it. Ow, fuck. I jumped, what? I forgot his moves are like delayed for some reason. I don't know if it's just because I don't have any like physical strength stats on or what, but he moves very slow now compared to endgame near. God, I do so little damage. Come on, there we go. Nice. Oh God, no more of these dudes, please. I actually can't handle the babby shades anymore.
They do so much damage. <laughs> they do so much damage! I might need the drop rate increase. If I can get herbs to make up for the damage I'm taking. Come here. Fine. Just die. Just go away from me. Get out, half free. You want to save here. We don't want you. Just leave us in peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The last town in the world, is it? You disgust me. You disgust us all. Don't you dare call yourself human. You guys aren't human either. Get out of our village! What is wrong with you people? She's trying to help you. Don't defend me. <laughs> Everyone's an asshole. God, I wish I had my big sword. I miss my big sword. I miss my big sword. I miss doing so much damage. I miss actually being useful. <laughs> Not taking five minutes to kill him, like five shades. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna suck in Dark Souls, aren't I? Tiny, sorry to keep you. They're, they're like damage sponges, man. Whatever. It's all true anyway. What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is, we need to take it out first. I don't need to. They're little babsters. I don't think he attacks unless I actually do kill the things. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh my god, why do you have to be so strong? Shoot again! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! One more, one more, one more, one more time, one more time, come on. You can do it! Oh, I remember this part. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, they do so much damage. I'm dying from babbies. I'm dying from actual baddies. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dying from actual babbies. Cheese. When in doubt, cheese. Sorry, babbies. Hi. Oh, I forgot about you. Hi, babbies. Why fight when you can just avoid combat altogether and just spam them across? <laughs> I think this is what I did at the beginning of the game, too. <laughs> I 
Why can't I hurt this one? I can't hurt this one for some reason. Come on. Die for me, please. Oh my god, they take so long to kill. Oh my god. Just die. We should join her. Right. Ow. Go away from me. This is what I do. I just avoid enemies. Because they're just so goddamn strong and they do so much damage. Actual damage sponge. Alright, hey, Hook. It can escape us no longer. It's great to have you on our side, Kainu. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I got stun locked, man. Look, just try and keep up, okay? I'm doing my best. I can't do anything but just spam from a distance because it's legitimately just not safe to approach anymore. Okay, I'm definitely setting it back to normal. This is like the most lame and boring way to fight and I'm forced to do it like this because attacking is just too dangerous. Especially just when he does this over and over again and it can stun lock you, I guess. As boring as this is, hard mode is just an ass. Why aren't Kainé's not doing anything? Just jumping. I can't do anything! I'm doing something at least. My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never. I've spent my entire life searching for a way to ah! She gave me the strength to do I'm this. I'm one hit right now. Body. That's why I'm like stressing so much. Like this, how much I loathe myself. Wait, this is this a dialogue? Do so little damage. Come on. Oh, he's doing out babies. He's doing out the babies. He's doing out the babies. Not the babies. Not the babies. Oh god, you're lunging forward again. You killed your own babies! What's wrong with you? Mounting a last desperate offensive, I see. That attack's bad news. <laughs> That's death, too, I think. God damn, this fucking game is merciless on hard. My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! I've spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been? What the I fuck, man? How much I loathe 
Oh, Babbies again. Oh my god, hard mode is just ruthless. Probably skill issue too, because I spent a good portion of the game just cheesing through everything. Therefore, I've never actually learned! I'm gonna die in Dark Souls so often. I'm gonna just suck ass. I can't wait to play that. This is gonna be fun. My grandmother would never say that. I can't. She I can't back out of this either, because then I'd have to restart everything. I have to defeat this boss right now. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been like this? How does that hit me? I don't understand what's hitting me. And I don't think I have any more health stuff. Oh, I do. Charge forward so you can kill them all for me. Come on. Come on, charge forward. Kill them all for me. Thank you. Alright, back off, because you're going to do the funny, funny little patty cake with the floor. Alright. I'm just gonna... What is hitting me? I don't know what's hitting me. I'm just being knocked back for no reason. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll stay on this side so you can just murder them. Oh, they actually moved. Oh god, they actually moved. Oh my god, just die. Just die. Please, just die. I want you to die. Just die. You're so close. You're so close. Come on. Come on! Come on! I still gotta do this stupid head attack. It the timer goes so fast! Oh my god! It's... This game is merciless and hard. I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit, man? The timer goes down so much faster. Alright, back up. Wait for the patty cake. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. One more. Patty cake? Where's the patty cake? I get hit for no reason again? I'm gonna stay over here so they can. Alright, back off, back off, back off. Alright, attack a couple times, then we'll go back for patty cakes. Alright, wait for you to run back since apparently I think you stomping your foot damages me. Or I can just get hit by nothing, that works too. Getting hit by nothing also works. God, hard mode fucking sucks! Yeah, put out your little goop babies. Alright, so you're charged forward. Alright, thank you for killing them. Now do your patty cake. Your patty cake. There you go. Patty cake. Patty cake. Alright, now I'll let you step back. I'm not even gonna bother attacking your foot now because it just damages me for no reason. There we go. I'm gonna wait for the electric shock to go away. And that's probably what's damaging me. Alright, put out your babies. Come 
Come on, put out your babies. We're gonna go all the way around. This timer is a little bit bullshit. Because it's bullshit! It's hard mode! Alright, back away. Let him run over the babies. There we go, wait for the pa- <laughs> Kaede! Kaede, what's happening? Kaede! Kaede! Kaede, what's happening? <laughs> Alright, wait for you to step back. Kaede, what are you doing over there? Can you not be having a spaz attack in the corner, please? Kaede? Kaine. I kinda need you right now. Alright, back off. Kaine. Kaine. Kaine, I need you to not be having a seizure on the floor! Oh my god, please. No, don't. I'm not getting killed by a baby. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You just absorb health like a motherfucker. And Kainy's kind of useless right now. Oh my god. Alright, patty cake. Do your patty cake. God, it takes so much effort to do anything. Oh my god. Alright, now attack. Kaine is just dead on the floor. Why do I do zero damage? Is hard mode actually this hard, or is it just the mod I have? Special K. Because it did say it has some balancing issues. I'm dead. <laughs> this is so bullshit! What is this, man? Does Lance even do anything? Let me try Dark Fist. You don't do shit! Oh my god, none of my attacks do anything. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been like- Is it my weapons? Like, what's happening right now? Oh, it is my weapon! How much I loathe myself! I haven't been using my upgraded shit! See, that makes a little bit more of a difference. Is my thing part up? No, it's- oh wait, yes it is. Okay. I guess hard mode is just genuinely very hard. Alright, back up. I don't know why I rolled into that. Mounting a last desperate offensive, I see. Bad news. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. You just die already, please. Oh, my God. I can't heal at all. I think it would have been faster to quit, go into, <laughs> change the difficulty. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Alright, 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 alright. Nothing? No, just one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, at least I'm able to do at least... A bit more damage. Alright, 
back up. Addy kick! Back up. Wait for the electric. And go. Go ham. Go ham. Go ham. Go ham. Go nuts! Go absolutely bonkers! Right. It would help if half the timer doesn't go by the time he puts his head down. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I did hard mode hook. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I... I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. That's not your decision. Hmm. I think you don't get to decide who lives and who dies. I mean, she's alive. She has meaning and worth, and we're going to save her. Everyone has something to live for. Sometimes Even death is a little better, though. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting <laughs> Not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> I love her. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. I love that. Oh, no, Cena. Shut up. Grandma, can I rest now? Oh, this is I'm not so new. Tired. I'll watch it just in case something changes. Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's Yay. it. Come on! Oh yeah, because he doesn't exist! Oh, he doesn't exist! He doesn't exist. It was all a lie. Oh no, I did spoil it for myself. Now it's talking about Kaine. Did she swap places with Nier? Oh no, okay. That would have been cool. Fuck. Wait, she has a lunar tear. Is this after the events of Shadow Lord? Poor Kaine, man. Poor Kaine. Again. There's that dream again. This is Paul Shadow Lord. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something extremely important. When I look at my broken sword, it reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona. Oh my god. That was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. So then... Why was I crying? Wait, what happened since... Three years have passed. Nier's gone. And I still haven't found the answer to wait that a question. Minute. Okay, wait. Nier, Nier is gone. He doesn't exist. So then wouldn't that mean that Shadow Lord doesn't exist? Actually, I guess that could be... The, the Berserk Kaine fight. I don't know. Not exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Does that mean that that turns her into the 
Subject one? Or patient zero of Gestalt? Damn it. <clears throat> oh, Emil's staff in the corner. Oh. I guess I'll go kill some shit. <laughs> no! His staff! Emil. I play as Kaede now. Oh, I only have one sword. What's my stat? Oh, I don't have Grimoire Vice, do I? <laughs> triple nine, triple nine damage. Triple nine damage. Triple nine damage. Whirly <laughs> fucking slash. Charging fucking smash. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. oh my god! Oh, her moves is completely different! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, maybe I don't need hard mode. Maybe I don't need it now. <laughs> they gave me a triple nine sword. Come here, you annoying little bastards. Okay, maybe I do still need it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I do so much damage! <laughs> This is the cheese! Oh my god! I have a dash attack! I'm so fucking fast! Oh my god! I was like, oh my god, I'm so weak, and then I start actually attacking. Oh my god! It's just because they have armor on! Oh my god! Isolate enemies and I can still cheese. I can do the big sword cheese. Oh my god! I'll crush every last one of you. Oh my god! Hey! Maybe I should check in on Yona's village. Oh wait, does it change the Yona's village? Oh, it changes the Yona's village! What the fuck? Oh, can I see my stats? Level 38. So I went, oh wait, no, that's right. And the other save file on level 40. And this one I'm not, I'm still 38. Oh my God. Oh, hi guard. What the fuck? is happening, man. Die, damn you. Die. Oh my god, no. Get back. It's dangerous here. I think that's my line, buddy. It feels nice that I get to deal with these enemies again, but also like <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine this on normal mode. I'm not leaving him to die. We're just on hard mode, which means it's like really everything's a damage sponge. I should probably be locking on. I see a big boy. I can charge it. See a big guy over there. Thanks for the save. Shades have been on the rise around here lately. 
Now go home. Oh, believe me, I want to. Thing is, I've got a job to take care of. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. Somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right. And that someone is you. You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. I'll go. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Oh. Wait. This is just wrong. Take these. I'll wait for Thank you. you. And thanks again. Thanks. Look at her little weave run. Look at her little weeby run. <laughs> She's doing a little Sonic dash. <laughs> I love her little weave run. It's so cute. I really wish I could have two swords, though. That would be nice. It feels wrong with Kaine having just one sword. Oh man, why are Shadow Lord? Why is why are Shades still a thing despite Shadow Lord dying? I get, actually no. I guess he wasn't a leader or anything. He was just hey, patient zero. Anybody home? A new f save file has been unlocked. Your save data up to this point will be temporarily unusable. Oh. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna switch it back just because it, it takes so long to kill things. I I if I was just playing on my own, I'd be fine. However, uh since I'm recording it, I don't want everything to take two hours longer than it's supposed to. So I'm gonna set it back to normal. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that, I hope. I hope there's nothing wrong with playing on normal instead of hard. I just don't think Attacking things for five minutes because their damage sponge is very fun. Oh, the loading screen changes! <laughs> so cool! Alright. Uh oh. Shit. Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? What the fuck? Wait, but Shadow Lord's dead. Unless, like... Unless, like, someone else, like, took over. Like, what the fuck? What? What are those things doing here? What do you mean, what are those things? Did they kill the villagers? What the fuck? What is this? What are these things? What are these? What are these? Come on, more. <laughs> what are these? Just keep on coming. What did we just summon? They're like reskins of the ones from the junk heap. What are these? We're going Why would in the robots be coming out of a place like that. We're going into the tree of memories? Wait, do you think the tree would give, like, the memories back? Nier's memories back? Probably not, right? Maybe. I don't know. What? What the hell's going on here? What's a place like this doing inside a tree? What? Welcome to the Sea of Humanity. Are these remnants of Gestalt? Who are you? Show yourselves. Remain calm. Do not be hasty. <laughs> look at that walk. Ooh. Ooh, look at his walk. Creepy little freaks. They really went through the effort to add physics to that, huh? Oh boy. Hey. Bye. Feels good that I can one hit you. Oh, I feel so much better. 
It feels so much better when it's easy. I'm okay with hard games. It's just like... Near, specifically Nier's version of a difficult game is just like really spongy. It feels not great. Which items do I have? I have ten already? I don't understand a damn thing you're saying. Observations of you have been recorded as well. This has to be. Oh. You killed the original Gestalt. Now the remaining Gestalts run wild because they have nowhere left to go. Oh. Your actions have caused the deaths of countless replicants. What? Show your damn faces already. Really? What the? F Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. Wait. So we did end Gestalt. So, so th does that mean all of the Gestalt are relapsing? So Shadow Lord's death doesn't mean that every shade dies. It instead means that they all relapse. Does that mean the replicants relapse too? Fuck, I killed people from killing Shadow Lord? Holy shit. I, I, I mean, you can assume that, but like, fuck, man. Oh, okay. Oh, why are they so much stronger? That's not where I was facing. It feels so weird not having a ranged attack anymore. So yeah, Nier was the... But who would the original Gestalt be in this case? Since Nier doesn't exist anymore. Oh, oh my god! I'm really pulling some Final Fantasy stuff out here. Looks like Midgard right now. Same people, I suppose, so... What the fuck? What? Who are you? What the? F How nice of you to join us. Yes. How nice of you to join us. <laughs> Why? Let them talk. How full of life you are. We won't get anywhere like this. Now then, let's fight. What? What are these? Who are these two? Yeah, what are you saying? This is all a simulation. You play exactly like- oh, never mind. <laughs> you did so much damage! <laughs> you do so much damage! Yeah. Hi. Yeah. What about it? That's Papa Nier's world. I'm, tr I'm trying. I want to know what the fuck you are, though. This is one of the more what the fuck sections of this game. Oh my 
god, what are you? What the fuck are you? How truly fascinating you are. Here are just as Okay, <laughs> alright, buddy, alright, okay, I will do. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> you are strong. We have taken the liberty of sampling that strength. Are they replicating her? What are they doing? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Every. <laughs> What the fuck? Son of a... Are those things me? Ooh. Oh boy. No, just don't cheese me, okay? Okay. I was intimidated until their health sunk to zero in one hit. If you wanted me to follow any of this, you're gonna be real fucking disappointed. Sorry, I got a little bit of Tyran in me, you know what I mean? Tyran's taking over the brain a little bit. These other me's are brittle as hell. I ought to be insulted. It matters not how many copies you destroy. They will simply disperse and immediately reconstruct themselves. There is still much fun to be had. I don't like these two. God damn, you're annoying. I want to tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash can. <laughs> she could do that. She probably could do that. <laughs> Knowing her. Oh my god. Have you reached the end? Have you reached the end? Damn it. They're forcing her to fight to her fullest so they can replicate it. Sorry, how do you have a body? You betcha. How'd you get your body back? Hey. I am you. It's good to see you safe. Your forehand. <laughs> a little. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What the fuck? Too much. That? What are those voices? Just a couple of little fucks. <laughs> yeah! <Emil! laughs> I'm so happy you're back. I get to see you again. 
<laughs> and you're not just a floating head anymore. She's starting to remember. One of them sounds like Popola. Oh my god! It's it has to explain to me what's happening, right? Kaine, I did it. Good job, Meal. Can I just do the? No, I can't. I'm sad. It's only with near. I'm trying to do the fist pump thing. Is that a doorway? Hey. Beyond here lies that which was lost. Can I get near back? Oh, <gasps> can I get near back? Kaine came to see me. She came all the way here just to see me. <clears throat> Whoa. What is this place? At least there don't seem to be any bad guys around. Emil, I didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit, but what happened to you back then? And where have you been? And why the hell do you have four arms? <laughs> Kaine... I look, it's gonna take way too long to get into all that now. No, explain! Fine. No, I wanna know. I was worried. Say! Oh, kind, eh? But look at us now. Team Camille, back together again. Yeah, I guess so. I missed you, Emil. You're like my favorite character in this game. Next to Vice, of course, but. Arrogant piece of shit has to like arrogant piece of shit, right? <laughs> oh, this is a uh, Shadow Lord's castle. Wait, what's this? I guess this is all Shadow Lord's castle. I guess it makes sense. To whom? Box. I ask. I actually don't remember the full thing. <laughs> There's different routes I can take. What's up here? Oh. I'm getting a lot of medicinal herb. Kine, I, yeah? I feel like I've forgotten something really important. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. You too? Yeah. I can't really describe what? it. But it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I made a promise to somebody, like <laughs> that we would go eat something delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah. Uh, here's where the two doves sit. Here's where you get the phoenix sword. Oh, this game is what? This is some Inception shit. Oh my god! They're seeing what twenty thirty six. Enormous magical power ahead. Just don't do anything rash. Got it? Got it. Same goes for you, Kaine. I don't want to be alone anymore. Is this wait? Is this Tokyo? Because yeah. I remember it saying something about Tokyo. This could be Tokyo. Though, the, I, are there buildings like that in Tokyo? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Are we fighting Shadow Lord again? Oh. Alright. 
let's see. This game just this the Shadow Lord's castle? Yes, it's been lost. Kine, I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. Uh-huh. This is a very special place. To you and to the world. Oh. This game has a habit of taking things that I like I'm expecting to happen and just just teasing me for a second saying like oh you might be right and then just fucking slapping me in the face <laughs> with shit like this what is this man am I attacking it what are you I guess I'll hit you ah! <laughs> Wait, so why are we destroying it? Okay, so rather than memories, it might be best to say the world you have lost. Uh-huh. In any case, it is surely the answer you want to see. By destroying it? Would you two shit sex please shut up? Okay. I have to destroy it to get it back? That seems kind of counterproductive. Don't get to decide who lives and who dies. Oh. That voice. It's the one from my dreams. Why? I mean, near. voice before. These are your memories. I'm ready to repeat and be left. Uh huh. I'm getting. She's getting her memories back. You made it this far because you were with us, Kane. Damn it! What is this? Do you suffer? I am pained. Shut the. No, fuck I'm heavily confused. <laughs> I'm heavily confused though. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Let me beat up this fucking cube. Jeez. What? Wait, the UI completely changed. What? Where am I? What the fuck happened to the UI? These are your memories. These are your records. What happened this to the world? What happened to the UI? It just completely changed. Why is it different now? What? What is happening? I don't know what's happening. The hell is this? Sweet memories from deep within. I hit it? Okay. Shades? Hey! What? Everything is different! Why is the UI different? Oh my god! I can't tell if they're out of health or not. Oh my god, what is this UI? It's so weird. Sorry, I'm gonna... I need to pay attention to what they're saying. I really should be paying attention. I'm just so flabbergasted by what's happening right now. What? Everything is different, but not... In the fuck die. Hi. Bye. 
Am I going through another Mother's Diary thing? Recycled vessel. Oh, hi, BP. Hi, Khalil. Gretel. You're incomplete, but our friends make us whole. Oh my god. Ah! I don't have... God. Stop it, stop it, stop it! I kill shades. That's all there is to it. No. No. -uh. I just realized she's holographic. This is the deepest place in your memories. Memories you had sealed away. And this one is your worst memory. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You again. Oh, the music. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You goddamn shit fucking despicable piece of garbage! Oh my god. Fuck, again. They're playing grandma again. It's playing grandma. Oh my god. Oh, he teleports! Shut your goddamn traps for one goddamn second and let me kill it already! Someone else was there when I first fought this bastard. Fuck. Why can't I remember? Oh, I died. I didn't realize I died. <laughs> I, it's, it doesn't let me know when I'm low in health anymore. Stompy stomp. There you go. Else you fool! I memorized your attack pattern. Look, why can't I remember? <laughs> oh, I like that it's playing it in minor now. I mean, I think it already was in minor, but. Right they changed the key. Pay. What is happening, man? I won't lose to you. Oh my god, I don't have Dark Whirlwind. Oh, hi. Hi again. I think it's charging up its magic. I can't. The fuck down here, you I, I don't have range. Shit rag. I can't. Ah! <laughs> okay. That hurt. <laughs> oh, God. Come here. Come here, you. 
Oh. Get out, half breed. Oh. You disgust me. You disgust us all. Oh. Don't watch you. Testing my Toho skills, but with very tanky Just controls. reading now okay thanks for slapping me in the face i guess and remember that we're playing near <laughs> okay <clears throat> when kaine's eyes flutter open she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back after a moment she realizes she collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig at her flesh like whatever it's not important right now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck? She mutters. What happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Well, not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small, round homes with wisps of smoke drifting into the air. And, of course, there are vi the villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the airy. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kaine spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright while the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong, you fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Would this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that goddamn shade kill her. So if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead and this is it. Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kaine flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as cor correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. What's wrong, girl? Asks her grandmother. Are you upset? Do you want to go home? Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was at there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached, her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream. Or maybe I'm already dead, I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma is with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Her grandmother says with a cackle. Here now, hold this. She hands Kaineas large sack filled with 
filled to bursting with all manner of fruits and vegetables. Damn, Grandma. This is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, it's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can start to argue, Kaine charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. Really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I've got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers and an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. <laughs> I wonder where you got that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her visions, waiting for what seems like an eternity to ensure everything is all right. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. Oh there, says the elderly apothecary as Kaine enters the store. Here's for Kali... Here's for Kali's medicine, are you? I said Khalil. <laughs> That's probably where I thought I heard the name from. Though few villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he'd always showed her kindness when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. The shopkeeper immediately sets out about his work deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with practical hand. Soon, a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kaine of her childhood. There you are, says the apothecary, as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your granddaughter. Looks just like her. Oh, it does? Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that? Says Kaine, her eyes narrowing. Said portrait was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons, and to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the pleased apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. My, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit. And yet, the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. You just be nice to me. The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, offer Kaine, who just wants the entire conversation to be over. She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that train has likely left the station. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave. 
but just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud from somewhere back in the shop. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there. You okay? When the man does not reply, Kaine moves towards him. She assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop, but the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg! My leg! My leg! Oh my god, where's my leg? Panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers that the man's leg is gone. Help me! Screams the voice in her head. Help me! As Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. She reaches out for her with his other hand, only to find out that it, too, is no longer there. Soon his arms go, then his legs. Then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Ew, says the voice, if it can even be called that anymore. I can. A moment later, what remains of the pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the air, sil suddenly silent air. As Kaine stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up inside. God, what's happening? My arms! Where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Homes slough off the sides of cliffs, taking out pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo out everywhere, creating an opera fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust their clothing drifting this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. As she stares at the scene wide eye, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma! Kaine breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes, ash, 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 ash. Buildings and people all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her childhood home. It was once a place filled with filled of precious memories, a place she regarded as, as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievably at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Is this place even real? Kai nay. She's alive! Grandma's alive! With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs. But she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma! She whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Did she destroy the memories? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine as she slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. 
We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. And as Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank. As the voice drifted away, the last of the pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. Kaine screams an impossibly sad and lonely sound and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingling with all the other detri detritus from the collapsed village and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on, come the fuck on already. As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric. Her grandmother's shawl. Oh, jeez. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it. And I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't save anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live. No goal. No anything. So this is why I'm... Say. Suddenly, a new voice enters Kaine's world. I say, can you hear me? After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder. Clear its vice. Now then, you wish to get him back, hmm? Yes! Him? replied Kaine. Who are you talking about? Oh, for the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a handful. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there is something else as well. A kind of warmth, almost a familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the voice, which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to surge forth. That's right! I had friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding, radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches for it. Do hurry back now, hussy. <laughs> yeah! God, my face is getting numb. Hey, what's up? Near? Near, please tell me it's near. Near. Oh, it's just grandma advice. What is Good the enough. Matter? Do you still not remember? <laughs> you have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. I get OP get moves back. and I get vice. And then I get the sealed verses. Alright, come here. Power of Grimoire Vice grants you the use of magic. Use my magic to topple the beast. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? Why is she so delayed? A show, I don't need your help to take out this goddamn I... fuck waffle. Yeah, you do. Use my power to knock the creature down with magic. Come on, get down from there! Oh yeah! Well done. Now club on the beast. Oh yeah, Let's I will. Shit, this thing is tough. Let the next on slot be our last. Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. 
Have you been in your cups again? Fuck your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Fuck your face. <laughs> Tempting is extremely Dramat book. <laughs> I see. Come on, come on, die for me. Die for me. Let not your resolution waver before mere illusions again, hussy. Don't worry. I'll do what needs to be done. <laughs> yes! Bring this back, baby! Bring it back! Bring back the cheese! Bring back the cheese! Bring it all back. Bring back all the cheese. Bring back all the cheese. I'm dying. Let's finish this. Time to die. Huh. Oh, they're pixelated. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. They've been blockified. Oh yeah, Gah, yeah, Gah, Gah, Gah. <laughs> oh my god. Why don't I get that power, man? made up my mind. Nobody tells me what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life. And I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit and get your ass back here now! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> I... You want to recover the person you cherish? Yes! <laughs> yes! If you choose this option, your current save data will be erased, and this, the save uh, data deleting and ending D will be just restored. Oh! Once your save data has been restored, this save data will be erased, so you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure? Are you really sure about this? <laughs> yeah. The correct name was entered. That's so cool. That's such a cool mechanic. All save files will be restored. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. Hee <laughs> 
<laughs> I need my Gestalt records. Oh. I don't know what's happening anymore, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Select a file to restore the save lost data to. I'll do this one. I leave the rest to you, Hussy. <laughs> What is that? Is that a giant lunar tear? <laughs> what the f This is some Evangelion shit. What is this? It's in Nier's village too. Oh, hi, Meal. Hi, buddy. Our journey may have been meaningless. Okay. Our past may have been a mistake. But we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end. <laughs> because this. This is the world with the people we cherish. That's heartwarming, but their height differences is, uh, makes this feel a little bit weirder than it should. Whoa. What? I'm lost. <laughs> I thought ending E would clear things up, but nope. What the fuck? <sighs> I'm like scratching my head right now. I don't. Oh, this has got to be one of my favorite games. It's up there right now. It's pretty high up there. Oh my god. This is just such an amazing game. Oh my god. I'm still lost though. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful game. was such like a brain melt of a game too I still don't know what's happening I finished the game five times now I still feel like there's so much more I can uncover. I feel like that's not the end, but like, this is ending E. At least it expanded a little bit after the events of Shadow Lord. Like, it did say that Gestalts are all relapsing and um, replicants are dying. But how are they dying? It's strange.
<sighs> maybe maybe there's a post credits thing. Oh, I just I don't know. <laughs> I need more lore. I need more. I need more of it. Also, is Kaini and Nier a relationship? Just thought of it now. Because there is many times where they almost kissed. They kissed once, and then this ending. So, like, uh, <laughs> it feels weird, but, like, they hinted at it, like, so many times in this game. Let's see. Let's see what the end has to offer for us. What? A parting green has been added to the options menu? I got a super weird achievement just now. It just, it was just a bunch of numbers. Let me check what that is. Give me a second. Let me check what that is. What was that? I just got a random... Whoa, my... Th <laughs> Sorry, I'm showing my friend. Um, my Steam status changed. It says, um, we will live even if it's a mistake right now. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll send a screenshot. She's not responding. I want to... It's so cool. Oh my god. Um, let me check that achievement I just got. What achievement is this? E8, A8, 9, 8, E6, 8, 6, B6, E3, 8, 2, B5, E3, 8, 3, B, C, E3, 8. Is this a code? Let me search this up. I think this is a code. I think they're sending me a code. Um, it is a code. It translates to memory server. See the light of the memory server. It's in hexadecimal. Interesting. Okay, a parting greeting has been added to the options menu. Visit that woman's house to acquire a new woman, uh, a new weapon. Wait, what woman's house? Oh, it's Grimoire Vice telling me. It's telling me Kaine, that woman, Kaine. Oh, look, that's so cool! That's so cool, they have all of his weapons! <laughs> A parting greeting. What is this? All right. Is everybody here? Yep. Present and accounted for. You betcha. Sure. All right then. <clears throat> Dear players, the <gasps> game is over, and we have a special message for you. 
Thank you for playing. For <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey. It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, <coughs> would ya? Popola, Devola, you're here too? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. Oh, Tyrion. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel <laughs> sad? <laughs> we have to say goodbye I'm tearing up. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, thank, thank you for playing! playing. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. Oh, this game is amazing. <laughs> oh, this game is so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Square Enix, for this game. All right. Um, it says there is something over at um. There's something over at Kaine's place. So let's go check out what that is. Oh. Oops, wrong way. Let's go check out what that is. Oh. This is such a charming game. This is legitimately one of my favorite games now. I'm, and I'm absolutely excited to play Automata. Games need to do that more. Like, please do stuff like that more. It warms my heart every time they get like the cast or something, and then they make them give a like message. I love those. I absolutely adore those. Goodness. Thank you so much, Square Enix, for this game. Oh, my goodness. Such an amazing game. Oh man. If I could send a letter to <laughs> If I could send a letter to Square Enix about this game, I would cuz I I genuinely love this game. <laughs> cuz this game was absolutely amazing. Oh. All right. Let's go to the area so we can See what we got. Ow. I, I'm kind of expecting it to be Kaine's sword because it's the funny triple nine weapon and it's in her house. So I kind of expect it to be her sword, but I want to see it. Alright, let's see. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh my god, triple nine. Oh. <laughs> this game is so good. Oh.
I want to see how fast this thing can kill. Just real quick before I end things. things I'm going to check out. Uh, I did not download the 2B and other stuff. Um, but... Um, I don't know. Should I? I haven't played Automata yet, so I know. The Lorian screen's a Lunar Deer! But um, I haven't, I haven't played um, Automata yet, so like, I don't know if it's like a. Oh, oh my goodness! Look at them. Oh, they look so cool. Oh, they look so cool. They look so cool. Oh, they look so cool. Look at this. <gasps> look at Kaini with her short hair! <laughs> and then Emil in his little, su his little samurai outfit. <laughs> He's so cute! Oh, this is so good. Oh. Alrighty. That's gonna mark the end of this game. I genuinely enjoyed everything about this game. I have to do this now. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Yeah. All right. I've genuinely enjoyed everything about this game. It is one of the better games that I've played um, this year. So um, please check out this game. Uh, if you have not already. I know we've seen everything, but please, just for the sake of, like, playing it, play it, please. Um, I adore everything about this game, and I very much thank Square Enix for making this game. Because <laughs> this game was absolutely amazing. But, um, yeah, that marks the end of um, Near Replicant. And we're going to go ahead and move on to Near Automata, which is the sequel to this game. And I'm so excited for it. But um, thank you again, everyone, for watching this series. It means a lot to me that you came all the way through 12 to 13 parts, either one. And I'm quite glad. So um, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in uh, Nier Automata. Alrighty. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.